everyone, it's me Nita and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to bring you guys along with me on a very busy work with me. I have 26 DCF prints that me and my husband have to print out tonight and ship out by tomorrow. Um, I also have a few embroidery orders that I have to work on and a big t-shirt order that I also have to work on as well. So. It's going to be a long night. I'm hope hopefully we won't have to stay up too late, but um, it's going to be a busy night. So let's go ahead and let's get to work. Okay, so tonight we have a ton of DTF print orders to work on. Um, and we do all of our DTF prints from our Epson DTG printer. It is an F2000. Um, we bought this machine secondhand. It has been an amazing addition to our our shop so so for the DTF transfer films and for the DTF adhesive um, I'm going to be using these transfers from Yamation hopefully I'm saying their name right um, but I have a, um, an 8 by 11 sheet and then I believe these this bigger sheet is um, an 11 by or 12 by 16 I believe so we're gonna be printing on these tonight again we have 26 26 sheets that we need to print out. I did a buy two get one free sale on my Shopify website for Halloween weekend and someone purchased uh, two transfers from me and then someone else purchased 24 transfers. So that person got a ton of free transfers so I'm super happy that they took advantage of the special and the deal. Um, so we're gonna get started on their order. And then Eric's gonna be making. How's my hair? Good. Eric's gonna be making an appearance today, so he's gonna be helping me. Mm -hmm. He's gonna be part of the work with me today, or work along with us. Yep. So, some of you may not know him. His name's Eric, also known as Ready Hustle. Um, you call me Eric. <laughs> but we can call him Eric. His, that his channel. YouTube channel was called Ready Hustle. Yeah, not anymore. Yeah, I took it over. Sorry. <laughs> but he's gonna be working tonight on the transfers. And then I'm going to be using my buy machine, maybe, hopefully I can try and get both of them running at the same time. Um, I don't have too many embroidery orders tonight, luckily, so um, I'll probably just use the one um, embroidery machine, but I've been using both of them a lot lately and running both of them at the same time and it just feels so good to it's nice to have like a rhythm now when using both the machines at the same time, so it's been a lot of fun. And then I'm also going to be using my Cricut as well tonight to do my to do my t-shirt orders. So someone ordered a big, they ordered about six shirts, I believe, um, for a birthday. Uh, I could have, I could do them on my DTG, but on the listing I have them made with HTV. I definitely need to update that listing and switch it to DTG because DTG will be a lot faster, but... Um, I'm going to be using my Cricut tonight to cut some vinyl and then also I got a huge box of more thread from Candle Thread so I got like $200 worth of thread uh, to add to my growing collection so I'm going to be unboxing this too tonight for you guys to show you what kind of thread colors I got. So I'll show you guys that in a little bit. Okay, so you're gonna see Eric in the background working. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and unbox these while he works on these transfers. So I tried to get a lot of like earthy tones. So basically what I did was I found like a, a palette of like an earthy tone col like colors on Pinterest. And I tried to find thread that was similar to that palette because a lot of the new designs that I wanna come up with are gonna be more like neutral and just a lot of earthy colors. So I got these two colors. There's a lot in here. I think I got 37 different colors and these are all new colors. This one, this one, this one. Um, so I'm just gonna quickly unbox these all and then I'll kind of give you like a final look through of what all the colors look like um so let me go ahead and unbox these real quick and then i'll show you all of them because there's a lot Ooh. okay i have to stop and show you these ones because these these type of earthy tones 
Like how cute are these colors? I love them. Some different shades of red. Here's more of the earthy tones that I wanted. Ooh, I really like these two shades. And then some more red. I tried to get as many like different reds as possible because I'm like in desperate need of like different shades of red. Okay, so that's all of them. I'm gonna go ahead now and clear off this shelf and add all of these up there. Um, hopefully I have enough room on that shelf to fit all these threads. All right, so a DTF print is almost done printing. Should pop out any second. There we go. So here's one of the prints. So we'll end up sending it back through and it's gonna lay down a white base. That'll help when you are using DTS transfers on like darker color shirts. It helps the color pop and you'll be able to see the image on darker colored shirts. So I've gotten the question before if DTF transfers work on darker colored shirts or darker colored garments and yes, they work wonderfully. Um, so I definitely recommend them. That's one perk to them versus sublimation is that you can put these images on any colored shirt. Um, but he's gonna keep working on DTF transfers because he has a ton of them to do. Um, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna get started on getting all these threads onto this shelf. So I need to clear off the bottom shelves because um, that's where I'm gonna put all those new thread colors. I do want to color coordinate them, but I don't have time to do that right now because I still have Etsy orders that I need to work on. But I'm gonna quickly clean off these shelves and then we'll get started on working on all the Etsy orders I have. Okay guys, so here is all the thread put, put up and away. I really love how everything looks. Um, I just want to keep adding like every color there is possible. But I have a bunch of colors, so I have a bunch of colors on the shelf and then, and then my machine mostly has all candle thread. I do have a couple colors of Madeira on the machine but I did already find replacements for those colors. Red colors run out. I already have a replacement for those colors using candle thread. So my collection is just gonna keep growing, but I think we're gonna take a break, go eat dinner really fast, and then we'll get back to work. Eric has already got through a bunch of the DTF orders. So we're just gonna go eat and then we'll get back at it. Alright guys, so needed in bed with the kids, putting them to sleep. And I just spent the last hour trying to fix the printer. Yeah, so that was our first like real major error we ever had. Um, it ran a circuit error and I was really worried that it was like a power thing or something to do with the motherboard of it. But uh, as you can see, uh, it's printing just fine. And um, it just needed some maintenance. So I did some cleaning and cleaned a couple uh, sensors. and. We're good to go. So, uh, BTG printing is not for the faint of heart, but we got it going. So, yeah, let's go. Yes, you guys, it is backwards it's because you have to have it mirrored for a DTF transfer. Otherwise, when you go to press it onto a shirt, it will press backwards. So, let's go ahead and get that white layer printed. As you can see, I've been busy. So all that is just a little over half of uh, one order. So uh, luckily the other order is only two transfers. So yeah, I got a couple hours more to go and then um, I can go to bed and start my work day. My nine to five, uh, actually eight to five. And there you have it. Nice layer of white, and as Nita said earlier, that makes it pop on any color, and you really need that white. You can't really do DTF without that white backing. Okay guys, so um, before I start on my shirts, I do have a pair of matching shorts that, that goes with this order of Monster Truck birthday shirts. 
Um, Eric is pretty much almost done with the DTF transfers. He just has to cure them. So he's outside right now um, uh, using our little convection oven. We like to use it outside just because the fumes are not good to smell. So we do that portion of that outside. I have a matching pattern to these sh um, shorts for pants. So I definitely need to get those up on my um, Etsy shop because winter is almost here. So I wanna make sure that I get the matching pants to go with all these outfits. So I have that as an option too. I'm kind of curious to see um, if my bummies start to slow down and my bell bottoms start to increase in, um, in orders. So here are the shorts so far. I need to um, pin the bottom still and add the waistband, but these are so cute. I am gonna purchase some hemming tape. If you guys have like a recommendation on some good hemming tape, please let me know down in the comments. Um, so I can purchase some, just because this that would, hemming tape would make this next part so much easier and just more accurate and just, I feel like it would make it look better just because it, the fabric will stay in place while sewing. I'm gonna use my little clips instead. Okay, so now last thing I have to do is just add the waistband and it'll be done with these shorts. And then I'm gonna get started on all the birthday shirts that will go with these shorts. Um, I have to make five total. I still have a baby blanket that I need to make, but I think I'm just gonna wake up early in the morning and get that one done just because it's super late. That printer acting up really set us back. So I'll just have to wake up early to work on that. So let me go do the waistband and I'll see you guys once I'm all done with these. Okay guys, so here are all of the DTF orders. Thank you for whoever purchased from our cell. I really appreciate it. Holy cow, that's a ton of DTF transfers. So I'm gonna go ahead, clean these up and package them up. And then I really need to get started on those shirts like ASAP because it's already 1 a.m. 
So I wanna hurry up and get everything done. So I'm gonna package these up real quick and then get started on the shirts. I'm all done packaging up the DTF orders. Now I'm gonna have my Cricut start going, cutting out um, the designs for these birthday shirts that I need to do. Um, I'm hoping I can get these done quickly. Eric is still working. He has his own shirts that he has to print currently. So he has his own orders that he's working on right now. I'm going to do these and hopefully I can get this done quickly so I can go to bed because it's already really late. And I wasn't planning on staying up this late, but but that printer was being such a pain in the butt. So it like put us back so much. Um, but this should hopefully cut out quickly. And then I'm going to weed it out and then press it and be done for the night. Okay guys, so I almost packaged this up without showing you guys. So here's the truck, yeah. I'm one with the little kid's name, or the little baby's name. So this is what it looks like with the shorts. Such a cute little outfit. And then I have the sisters, and the brothers, and the mom, and dad shirts all done. I'm kind of bummed out I wasn't able to get more done tonight, but... I just, we ran out of time. So it's late, it is very early in the morning. I don't know why I do this to myself. Like I wanted to do a 5 a.m. challenge like for like a whole week of getting up at 5 a.m. and working from 5 a.m. to 7 a.m. on just like growing my business. But it's really hard because I have, I end up doing these late nights and it's just, it's hard to get on a good schedule. So I don't know. I'm hopefully once I get caught up on all of these orders um, I could do that challenge because I think I'll end up being a little bit more productive than doing all this work at nighttime so it's just trying to find a day where I could go to bed early and so I can wake up early but I end up having to work super late every night um, but I still have a ton of orders that need to go out tomorrow so I'm gonna have to work with the kids tomorrow which is not my favorite thing to do just because it gets a little chaotic and hectic with the two toddlers trying to manage the machines and keep an eye on them and make sure that um, it's manageable it's just not my favorite thing to do so I will try and wake up semi early not super early just because I'm going to bed so late but, but I'm gonna try and wake up at a decent time tomorrow with the kids and try and work during when they eat breakfast usually that's when I'm able to get the most work done so while they're so while they're eating breakfast I'll just get started on some orders um, I still have that baby blanket to do so that can run while I'm cooking breakfast and while they're eating breakfast I can quickly sew the baby blanket um, and then I have a few other orders that I have to work on um, but they're super quick items that I can make. Um, they are embroidery, so it will take a lot more attention, but, um, they are quick stitch out, stitch out, stitch it, stitch outs. They are quick stitch outs, so, um, they shouldn't take me too long to work on tomorrow. So hopefully I'll, I'll only have like an hour or two of work that I have to do with them. And then everything else I can wait till, till my husband gets home from work. Um, and then I could just work for the rest of the night. Luckily my husband he's all caught up on all his um, orders and if you guys don't follow him on Instagram definitely go follow him on Instagram. Um, I'll have his Instagram link down below because he does like wholesale orders for other small businesses so if you're in need of t-shirt designs being printed he does offer bundle deals and all kinds of stuff so um, I'll leave his Instagram down below um, but luckily he's all caught up with all his orders. Actually, he does need to do one order tomorrow. So maybe when he gets home, he can get started on that right away. And that'll give me like the rest of the night to be able to work on my orders. Because if he's working on orders, 
I'm usually watching the kids or if I'm working on orders, he's watching the kids. Sometimes we both work at the same time. If the kids are willing to cooperate and just sit and play um, nicely in our craft room with us. So we'll see how tomorrow goes. I want to try and film like daily, daily work with me vlogs, but that's, I feel like asking a lot for myself, but I want to try and film more work with me. It's just, it's been challenging because I just have been so busy. It's just picking up the camera is like the last thing that I think about, but I want, I want to get back to posting more because I haven't posted a lot the last like two, three months, um, but I need to get back on track. But I'm going to go ahead and start packaging up this order and then I'm just going to call it a night and then that'll just be it because I need to go to bed. Um, those other two, three orders that I need to work on, I'll just work on those with the kids. But I hope you guys enjoyed this work with me. Thank you to everyone who purchased DTF prints during my little flash sale for Halloween. Um, I plan on doing a Black Friday sale too as well, so keep a lookout for that if you're in need of DTF transfers. I will be doing a Black Friday sale. Um, if you want to order some DTF transfers, definitely go check out my website down in the description below. I am trying to add new designs daily just because I have so many designs um, that I just, I need to sit and get them listed. So I do try and spend like 10, 15 minutes a day trying to get new listings up on the website and new designs for you guys. But definitely go check that out if you're in need of some DTF transfers and again, Thank you to everyone that has purchased the transfers from me. I greatly appreciate it. Anyways, that's going to be it for this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Bye.